The James Webb Space Telescope has revealed the secrets of Arendelle, the farthest star ever discovered in the universe, lying at the edge of time. Arendelle is so far away that its light has taken 13 billion years to reach us through a cosmic coincidence of line of sight. But this doesn't mean that it's 13 billion light years away. The proper distance of this star, which also considers the universe's expansion, is about 28 billion light years. If the Big Bang theory holds true, it suggests that the star we're observing existed within the first billion years of the universe. This implies it might be among the elusive first generation of stars that astronomers have long sought. However, Arendelle's extreme distance makes detailed study challenging with Earth-based, or even the Hubble Space Telescope. But how did astronomers detect Arendelle, a solitary star residing so distantly in the cosmos? What sets it apart from stars within our local universe? And crucially, why did astronomers find the observations of Arendelle by the James Webb Space Telescope surprising? Until now, the tiniest entities spotted at such vast distances were star clusters, all nestled within distant galaxies. However, Arendelle breaks this pattern. It stands as the premier solitary star we've identified within the initial billion years of cosmic history. Astronomers stumbled upon it serendipitously using the Hubble Space Telescope. Initially, Hubble scrutinized the galaxy housing this star, which was gravitationally lensed by a foreground cluster. The immense gravitational pull of astronomical behemoths like galaxy clusters warps the fabric of space-time surrounding them. This warping effect causes light from objects in the foreground to bend as it traverses near these colossal structures. Occasionally, under precise alignment, this bending phenomenon, known as gravitational lensing, can amplify the brightness of distant stars. As a result of this lensing, the galaxy housing Arendelle appeared as a distorted arc, affectionately termed the sunrise arc by scientists. Within that curved line or arc, astronomers detected a remarkably luminous object. Typically, luminous sources within distant galaxies are associated with highly energetic phenomena such as novae, supernovae, or tidal disruptions instigated by black holes, events known to exhibit fluctuations in brightness over time. Yet, Hubble's observations unveiled a consistent brightness from this object for over three and a half years. Additionally, astronomers calculated that the object's brightness is magnified by a staggering factor of at least 4,000, indicating its minuscule size. Consequently, they deduced it to be a gravitationally lensed bright star within the sunrise arc. However, Hubble's capabilities couldn't unveil all about this remote star due to its constraints. To delve deeper into understanding Arendelle, scientists turned to the James Webb Space Telescope. Here's what they uncovered about it. Three key observations from the James Webb Space Telescope shed light on Arendelle. Firstly, its redshift holds significance. Redshift serves as a yardstick for gauging the distance of celestial objects in deep space. We denote redshift with a value termed Z. A Z value of zero signifies the present moment. As Z increases, it denotes objects existing further back in time and farther away from us. The latest web observations reveal Arendelle to possess a redshift of 6.2. This aligns with the earlier findings from the Hubble Space Telescope in early 2022, rendering Arendelle the star with the highest redshift ever documented. Previously, the title holder for the most distant star was identified by Hubble and observed roughly 4 billion years post-Big Bang. Another crucial revelation from Webb pertains to Arendelle's bolometric magnitude, which measures the total energy it emits across all wavelengths of light. The Webb data dismisses the possibility of Arendelle being a low-mass star, a brown dwarf star, or a free-floating exoplanet that underwent gravitational lensing. Instead, the data points to Arendelle as a B-type star, 
boasting a surface temperature ranging between 13,000 and 16,000 Kelvin. Stars in the universe are categorized into seven principal groups based on their temperature, O, B, A, F, G, K, and M. A mnemonic device to remember these groups is the phrase, O, oh, be a fine girl, kiss me. The challenge arises when estimating Arendelle's total luminosity, which falls between 600,000 to 1 million times brighter than our sun. This suggests it could be a single star about 40 times heavier than the sun, or a binary system of two stars, each around 30 times more massive, or even a quintuplet of stars, each approximately 20 times heavier. While a single star explanation is plausible, it's just one of several possibilities that fit the data. In the local universe, massive stars often have companions, some even possessing multiple companions. While primary companions typically orbit within two astronomical units of the star, tertiary companions can extend out to 20 astronomical units. This means that any companions of Arendelle, if present, would be beyond the resolution capabilities of the James Webb Telescope. However, a subsequent observation focusing on Arendelle's colors revealed the existence of a cooler, redder companion star. The light from this companion has been stretched by the universe's expansion to wavelengths longer than those detectable by Hubble, making it visible only to Webb. The presence of a companion star not only resolves another astronomical puzzle, but also reinforces our understanding of stellar astrophysics. Specifically, if Arendelle's luminosity were truly one million times that of the Sun, it would surpass the Humphreys-Davidson limit, an empirical threshold observed in the local universe beyond which no stars have been found. It's anticipated that Arendelle will remain highly magnified for an extended period, allowing for subsequent observations by the James Webb Space Telescope to unveil its precise characteristics. The quest for the first stars and galaxies holds significant importance in astronomy, representing a holy grail of sorts. Discovering these initial stellar generations could provide crucial insights into star formation processes and serve to validate predictions made by the Big Bang model. Additionally, it might aid in resolving the JWST early galaxy problem, which pertains to the observation of massive, fully developed galaxies in the early universe by Webb. Furthermore, the pursuit of these ancient stars parallels a quest for understanding our own origins, echoing Richard Feynman's sentiment. The most remarkable discovery in all of astronomy is that the stars are made of atoms of the same kind as those on Earth.